John in Michigan, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. This is uh, John from Michigan. Yes. Um, what, what I want to talk to you about is uh, I've been a convenience store owner since uh, 1971. And I wanted to talk to you about the minimum wage. And I think that you and I can agree that the Federal Reserve is probably the main problem in this country. The printing of money and the... Yeah, that's right. They devalue it, but then want to make you raise the minimum wage, which just means people will hire less folks because there's not just the minimum wage. There's all the FICA and all the fees and all the insurance and all the ins uh, unemployment insurance and all the other things. So an employee getting 8 bucks an hour is really getting like 15 bucks an hour. They just don't know that regulatorily they are. And I think we can both agree that the manufacturing base of this country is being destroyed, right? That's a public also, plan, y yes. And, and we can also agree that most of the new jobs that Obama is creating are minimum wage jobs. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. About 70% they figure. And I've made a video that describes what happens to the minimum wage over since 1971 to today. And actually the people that are supposedly being helped by minimum wage are actually being hurt by it the most. Because I'll tell you what, tell us the name of your video, then I'll come back to you. What's the name of it? Okay, it's on reportusa.com. If you go to the special projects section and watch... Now, the best way video. to find a video is just tell us the name of it. We'll be back for the third hour in a moment to finish up with this caller, this evil business owner this who hires ACA, people. Don't worry, we'll soon be like North Korea. <laughs> no jobs. <laughs> Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. phone calls right now i've got to get to a bunch of audio video clips we're going to play and a ton of news coming up the next segment uh but we're talking to john and others right now and then after i cover some news i'll go back to mike and chris and matt and chris and many others that are patiently holding the toll-free number to join us for first-time callers is 800-259-9231 but a lot of times people call in wanting to give out a, a website address and they'll go http colon slash slash and then the whole it's best you just give out the name of the site. People can just put it in a search engine. Or if you've got a video name, don't say where it's at. Tell us the name of the video. That's the way to search it because then, and I'm not criticizing uh, John, I, I, I want to see his video. I want him to plug it on air uh, so folks can find out uh, you know, what he has to do as a citizen journalist. So tell us the name of the video explaining minimum wage. We actually found it. Um, and, and, of course, it is on YouTube, Minimum Wage, a Price-Fixing Scheme. Uh, and then your video uh, breaks down, I guess, in nine minutes, seven seconds, your take as a business owner on it. And this is the answer to the tyrants. Everyone becoming media, everyone who loves liberty, putting out YouTubes, putting out audio blogs, putting out a local newsletter, doing an access show, calling into local talk radio, going and getting your own time on local talk radio. If you're well-spoken, they'll pay you to go on. If not, just pay for an hour once a week, get a few sponsors. All of us resisting, all of us speaking out, we have the enemy on the run. They're down to 6% approval rating right now. Now Americans know that foreign banks have occupied Congress. Now the beginning of the end is here. Let me tell you, I've never heard of a government with a 6% approval rating. I mean, this is Ceausescu had about a 15% in Romania. So we are devastating them right now. We're on the march. They're on the run. But real quick, John, explain what's really going on with the minimum wage. Well, what I, what I try to show in the video with uh, the minimum wage, and I compare it to a Snicker bar. Uh, in 1971, the minimum wage was $1.60, and a Snicker bar in the largest convenience store chain in America was selling Snickers bars for $0.07. Cents. And that meant that a, a, average, that a minimum wage worker could buy 22 Snicker bars for one hour of work. Today, the minimum wage is $7.25, and 
And the largest convenience store chain in the world is selling Snickers bars for $1.29. That means a uh, minimum wage worker can only buy five Snickers bars for one hour of work. So what I'm saying is that the, that the minimum wage is really a price-fixing scheme and should be done away with because it, it doesn't allow wages to rise with a free market. I think whenever government interrupts free markets, bad things happen for almost everybody. That's right, and it creates an illusion of, oh, look, you know, we're fixing your wages like in the Soviet Union, but actually it's hiding the fact that it isn't about what the wage is that somebody's paid, especially when you're competing with illegal aliens and uh, slave labor in the prisons and all the rest of it. But now you're actually competing with a devalued dollar. I use the example of this. My kids like to go to Mr. Gaddy's. It's okay pizza. They have a nice buffet. And you go in there, there's a lot of working class people eating in this pizza chain that's all over Texas. It started outside Austin. And yesterday at about 2.30, I'm driving into work. I'm hungry. I pull in. hadn't been in there in years uh, to eat by myself. I've been in there to pick up pizzas, but not to eat the buffet. And it was like $9.50-something cents for the buffet. And it used to be like $5.00. And, and I said, when did that change? Oh, a couple years ago. And we can barely make money at that. Folks, the inflation is out of control on so many fronts. But we put your video up on screen. Looks interesting, brother. And uh, maybe we'll uh, watch it. And if it seems like it's accurate, maybe we'll play it uh, on the nightly news or something. We're going to start having a feature where the nightly news ends in 30 minutes. But then some stations are, are going to want to carry more. We're going to have, like, citizen-produced stuff, longer reports, you name it, for the next 30 minutes on the InfoWars. Uh, nightly news at 7 o'clock central every weeknight at prisonplanet.tv.